Kent Summers here with Arizona State insider Michelle Gardner. Arizona State with a huge game against uh, USC on Saturday. Let's get right to it. Start the clock. Michelle, they lost last week at home against Stanford, a game I really thought they had to win to make a bowl game. So now they've got to steal one somewhere along the schedule, beat somebody they're not expected to beat. Can they do it Saturday at a, a USC? Going to be difficult. If you look at the gap between these two teams, historically, ASU has not played well against USC, let alone at the Coliseum. They're not losing by seven points or 10 points. The margins of victory the last several years have been 30 points. So it's going to be very, very difficult. I think in games like this, well, really all season, you've got to have a senior quarterback who makes plays. And I've been a little bit critical of Manny Wilkins. Others have that he hasn't made those plays that you would expect of a third year starter, senior quarterback. Do you buy into that? Do you think he's played up to expectations? If you look at his numbers, his numbers are very comparable to what they were last year. The difference is they're losing the close games and you expect your senior quarterback that's the veteran to make those plays. He's a senior, he's been in that position before. So I think when you look at the pass that he threw with time running out the other day against Stanford with you know a potential tying touchdown on the line, those are the things that people look at that draw the heat to him. But in all fairness, he's been a stand-up guy, yeah. been there talking to the media. He knows he's the face of the team, and I really admire him for, through the adversity, going through the protocol, what he has to do as the quarterback. That's one of the fun things about covering that team. They're full of quotable people, starting with the head coach, the two coordinators, offensive coordinator Rob Likens, defensive coordinator Danny Gonzalez, but sometimes that talking can get you into a little bit of trouble. Yes, Danny got fined yesterday by the Pac-12, $5,000 for his comments after the game. Two series, two series. And, and you know what? I'm probably gonna get in trouble, reprimanded, whatever they want to do, that, that, what it is. That's that's as unfair a football game as I've ever been a part of. Uh, a couple of those penalties were, if they call it both ways, it's fine. They weren't. And I don't agree with them. I don't, the, the, the one, they throw the fade over there, Kobe's rerouting the guy, he didn't hold him, he's under five yards, ball went in the air. I mean, that's not, it's not, it's not past interference. Frustration boiling over. That's it, join us uh, again and uh, check out, see if Arizona State can pull the upset Saturday. Yo, Greg Moore here, AZ Central Sports. We're independent and we give you blanket coverage of every team in the Valley. Get the news how you want it, when you want it. Subscribe today.